So I'm a pretty average healthy person, I'd say. I work out a few days a week. I eat pretty well, cook most of my own food, try to avoid a ton of junk for the most part. And I care about the long-term effects of my overall health and performance. I want to live a long life, uh, look okay naked, start a family someday, and see my performance pay off in the gym. So when I first came across the idea of testing my biomarkers with Inside Tracker, I was a bit torn. Like, I wanna live as healthy of a life as possible, but is this kind of extreme? Is this like super scientific data I'm not gonna know what to do with? And like, is it gonna be a pain in the ass to go get my blood drawn? I mean, I hate needles. And also like 2020, COVID. But then I thought, I'm already collecting as much data as I possibly can, right? I wear a watch that tracks my sleep and all my workouts, and I use every training tool on the books, from my lifters, to my belt, to my wrist wraps, and my protein powder. And all of that info is anecdotal at best, so why not have some science to back it up? So I did. I ordered a test and built a profile online. I answered a survey about some of my current habits when it comes to diet and exercise, and my goals. I picked overall health, but there were a ton of other options like weight loss, muscle gain, whatever you can think of. They sent me a lab slip and just like that, I was up. Okay, I am at the testing site. Um, it was really easy to get here. There were like a bunch of locations around my house. Um, it would have been really easy to make an appointment, but I actually am just walking in, so that's simple. And I'm a little bit nervous. It's uh, kind of weird these days going into a big medical facility um, and I'm not a huge fan of needles. So we'll see how it goes. But either way, I'm really excited to have this data come in. So it's worth it. I wasn't allowed to have my phone out during the test, which makes sense. It's a medical facility, but I wish I could have because my tech was the funniest, sweetest lady. She would have been the best part of this entire video. Okay, that was super easy. Now I feel like a weenie for being nervous at all. It took all of like two seconds. I just gave the woman working at the front desk the paperwork that I printed out. And within like five minutes, she was taking me into the room. She was really gentle and sweet. And I told her I was nervous, so I didn't watch. And then she drew my blood, took all of like 20 seconds and it was done. That was it. It only took a couple days to get my results back, and I don't really know what I was expecting, but I think being an average healthy person meant I was expecting to just have awesome readings across the board, and the reality was I didn't. Nothing to freak out about necessarily, but there were definitely some of my readings that need some work. They need to be addressed, and I wasn't expecting to see that. Like my vitamin D levels. <laughs> so low, like the bottom of the chart. But the nice thing is, not only were my results really easy to read and really easy to understand because of how Inside Tracker laid them out, but I was also able to hop on a video call for a consultation with the lead nutrition scientist and registered dietitian on staff for more information on what my results meant and how I could make a plan moving forward. So CK would be a really good one to check. Again, if you're in the gym multiple times a week and it's very unlikely that you took two to five days off before your blood test, being elevated is something that we would expect. Being in the very high red zone could indicate that your muscles just really, really aren't recovering between your workouts unless you can specifically pinpoint it to like, you just competed in the CrossFit games and then you took this test. But a regular like workout that you do every day should not put your CK levels in this very, very high red zone. Constantly having muscle damage is not good for your body. Um, so that's an important thing to note. Being sore all the time is not a badge of honor. It means that your body's not responding well to your training. For athletes, this one's super important because cortisol basically works against everything that you're trying to do in the gym. I like to think of cortisol as like a marker of the softer sides of training. So yes, you could be getting like a new um, rep, one rep max or something. But if you're neglecting all of the things that cortisol will pick up, that's gonna be working kind of in direct opposition to what you're trying to do in the gym. So your cortisol can be elevated if you're not sleeping enough, you're not taking enough time for recovering between your workouts. If you are not eating enough food, we see that one a lot. Um, and if you generally are just stressed out about anything, a fight with a partner, a big deadline that you have coming up, coronavirus, 
if you are doing a lot of training, but you're also not focusing on managing your stress, getting enough sleep, having enough fuel, they're like constantly going to be opposed, working in opposition to each other. So you can be building muscle at the same time you're breaking it down if your cortisol is high. So now I have a legitimate plan laid out for the next few weeks. I can get retested in a couple months to see if anything's changed or if I need to take any more serious action with my primary care provider. Here I am trying to live a relatively healthy life, eating kind of clean, working out all the time, and there's stuff going on in my body that I would never have known about. So I guess in the end, I'll say this. If you're worried about it because it seems extreme or it seems like a pain in the butt or you don't know whether or not you're going to be able to understand your results or take some kind of action from them, don't stress. The biomarker test from Inside Tracker opened my eyes to a couple different health things that aren't necessarily problems now, but if I didn't address them, very well could be in the future. And I'm excited to have a plan to set myself up for success. So check it out. And if you do, drop a note in the comments and let us know what the experience was like for you.